Hello, I'm Kashif, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Sydney. Today I'm going to show you how to give cross-account access to Amazon Bedrock API. Let's get started. If you want to use the Amazon Bedrock API across several AWS accounts, you must grant cross-account access. Let's see how to allow clients in account B to access the Bedrock API in account A. Let's verify if we have access to the desired model in account A. Log to AWS Management Console in account A. Choose Bedrock. Scroll down and choose Model Access. Make sure that for your desired model, access is granted. If not, choose Modify Model Access to request access for the desired model. After you verify model access, let's create an IAM role in account A. Log in to the AWS Identity and Access Management Console. Choose Roles. Choose Create Role. Choose Custom Trust Policy. Choose Add a Principal. Choose AWS Services. Change the service name to Bedrock. Choose Add Principal. Choose Add a Principal again. Choose AWS Services. Change the service name to Events. Choose Add Principal. Choose Add a Principal again. Choose AWS Services. Change the service name to SageMaker. Choose Add Principal. Choose Add a Principal again. Now this time, choose IAM Roles. Replace the account with the actual account ID for account B that will assume the role in account A. Add the role name. I'll choose account-b-role. Choose Add Principal. Choose Next. Search for Amazon Bedrock. Choose the checkbox for Amazon Bedrock Full Access. Choose Next. Give the role a name. I'll use account-a-role. Choose Create Role. Choose View Role. Copy the role ARN. We'll use this role in account B. Let's log in to the AWS Management Console in account B. Choose IAM. Choose Roles. Choose Account-B-Role. Choose Trust Relationships. Choose Edit Trust Policy. Choose Add New Statement. Choose Add a Principal. Choose AWS Services. Change the service name to SageMaker. Choose Add Principal. Choose Update Policy. Choose Permissions. Choose Add Permissions. Choose Create Inline Policy. Choose JSON. In the Add Actions section, choose STS Service. Choose Assume Role. Choose Add a Resource. In the Resource type, choose Role. Replace Account with Account ID of Account A. Replace Role Name with Path with Role Name of Account A. I'll choose Account-A-Role. Choose Add Resource. Choose Next. Enter a name for the policy. I'll use cross-account-policy. Choose Create Policy. We can now use this role in Account B to access the Bedrock API in Account A. Now let's test this role in an EC2 instance. Let's log in to an existing EC2 service in Account B. Note that I already have an EC2 instance running. Let's modify its IAM role. Choose Security. Choose Modify IAM role. Choose the same IAM role that we created for Account B. I'll choose Account-B-Role. Choose Add 
choose update IAM role. Right click instance ID, choose connect. Choose EC2 instance connect, choose connect. Now install Python if not already installed using the command as shown. Upgrade Boto 3 using the command as shown. Next, we'll run the code as shown. Replace the IAM role in this code with the IAM role of account A. I am using account hyphen A hyphen role. This shows that account B successfully assumed the role in account A to access the Amazon Bedrock API. And now you know how to give cross account access to the Amazon Bedrock API. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.